Good morning. I'm David Guthrie with His Word Lives Ministry, and I want to welcome you to this Christian worship message. Uh, I don't know what's going on in your life this morning, but as you watch this video, I'm sure that there's something that you could include God in this morning. Why don't you just pray for the presence of God in your life? and seek out God the Holy Spirit to reveal to you what you should pray about along with us in this prayer time today. Let's just seek the Lord out and go to him in prayer. We also want to pray for Keith Spear this morning and lift Keith up, and we want to pray for Ken Brown, and Ken's experiencing a tough work schedule, and we also want to pray for his son that's our autistic and we want to pray for his son to do better and and to make progress with this situation uh, thank you so much for being with us again this morning and being with us in prayer I'd also like to pray for Pat Wilson as she gets ready for cancer surgery and the, the doctor appointments and tests and when she asks prayer for physical strength during this time. I also want to pray for my family today. Uh, you may want to lift up your family in prayer. We've got a lot of different situations going on here in the summertime, and we've got doctor visits and tests and, and some procedures going on and uh, uh, summer school going on. So we've got a lot of different things going on, and I'd like to pray for my family today. And I'd also like to pray for this ministry. His Word Lives ministry that creates opportunities for Christians to do work for Jesus, to share the gospel out into the world. And we also want to pray for the new church that's being started in Rydal, Georgia, Rydal Baptist Church. We want to pray for new membership and relationships to be built, built in that community. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear God, we come to you in prayer, Lord. You've heard these prayer requests. They're special to us. They're personal to us. And we lift these up to you, God, in faith and belief that you'll touch us. You'll heal. You'll give strength. God, you'll show us the way today as we seek you out in your presence in our lives. God, we thank you for being able to pray to you. We thank you for the prayers that you've answered in our lives. God, thank you so much for who you are and what you've done for us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen again. Thank you for being with us. I want to read some scripture today about bearing witness of Jesus. Jesus had been discussing to the multitudes and the, to, to the Jews about his relationship with, with uh, God the Father and, and uh, the life and, and the resurrections. And uh, Jesus then talks about bearing witness of himself. He says in verse 31, chapter 5, verse 31 of the book of John, if I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. There is another that beareth witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witnessed of me is true. Ye sent unto John, and he bear witness unto the truth. But I receive not testimony from man, but these things I say, that ye might be saved. He was a burning and a shining light and you were willing for a season to rejoice in his life. But I have greater witness than that of John, for the works which the Father hath given me to finish, the same works that I do bear witness of me, that the Father hath sent me, and the Father himself which hath sent me hath borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his shape, and ye have not his word abiding in you. For whom he has sent, him ye believe not. Search the scriptures, and for in them ye think ye have eternal life. And they 
are they which testify of me. And ye will not come to me that ye might have life. I receive not honor from men, but I know you that ye have not the love of God in you. I am not come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. How can ye believe which receive honor one of another, and seek not the honor that cometh from God alone? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuses you, even Moses, in whom ye trust. For he hath believed Moses, ye would have believed me, for he wrote of me. But if ye believe not his writings, how shall ye believe my words? We see here where the Jews are trying to persecute Jesus. And Jesus is talking about those that have bear witness of him. He first off, he talks about bearing witness of himself. And if he only bears witness by himself, that's not a true witness. The scriptures tells us that. But that's not the case. John the Baptist bear witness of Jesus. Uh, Jesus' own works bear witnesses of him. God the Father bear witness of him and the work that he come to do, the Father's work that he came to do. The scriptures bear witness of him. And especially those from Moses bear witness of him. So praise God for the witness that Jesus, the Christ, has. And from these different sources. Thank you for being with us today. God bless you. Believe in the name of Jesus and thou shalt be saved. Thank you.